Because the more I read this, it's a civil matter. Exactly. So you have no this jurisdiction. Isn't. Hold on. Right? Hold on. Tell, explain Hold it to him. Hold on. Explain to him, sir. Stop. Dude. Try. I'm not your dude. My name is Mr. Marshall. If you want to express yourself to me, you say Mr. Marshall. Is that clear? Mr. Marshall, yes, sir. You're not in control here. I'm going to actually, warn you of that am, one last actually, time. Actually, I am in control. No, you're not. I'm going to warn you of that one last time. Sir, you know we're what working with you. You're not working with yes, me. Yes, I am. Sir, if you're working with me, you ask me for my documentation. That documentation. I did ask you that over there. You didn't no, want to tell me your name. No, you did not. So now you're lying to me. No, sir, I'm not lying. I asked you over there what your the name is. Language is important. Name. I didn't tell you my name because I don't need it. So what are we doing? Are we grabbing your laptop or are we going downstairs? What we're doing is we're following police protocol. You separate the parties, interview them. Now, You're confusing that with a domestic violence situation. No, we've already done this yesterday with the police. If you need to come onto the floor, you, you can. can. Oh, okay. So, what do you want to do here? I'm asking. We're going to ask. Like, you can't. You're. Everybody's standing here. We're standing here. They're standing here. You're standing here. I don't want you to waste your time. What I'd like to do. You want to get your computer right, which is located here on this floor. Yeah. I'm just recording, so we're all clear. Okay. So here's what I'd like to do. Because that has no jurisdiction and what not served. To me. If you'd like to see where did where was it served? Where on your end do you have it? I don't have this. So you don't you weren't you haven't seen this No time. sir. Because my computer is locked. Alright. Alright, you don't get it on your phone or anything? I have not checked. My computer is locked. Okay. And the other computer is at the hotel where I had this right. not be at because I'm here. So let me explain something to them because I further want to read this. Um, Alright. Give me one second. Just, you need to stop like just stop interrupting. I'm trying to work with you. I'm not interrupting. All right, you just relax. I'm just talking to you guys for a second. So what he knows is this is called a civil matter. The police have no jurisdiction in the civil matter. Right? And right now, the building, thanks to this gentleman, has executed what is called in Connecticut an illegal lockout. If you lock someone out of their belongings, then someone has to go to jail. Since the building manager has left, the person that has locked me out is this gentleman. So he legally has to go to jail. So it is a police matter. It's not a civil matter. What? No, it's called... The way that you're explaining it, no, that no, sounds criminal. Not. If it were, him locking me out of the house he's renting to me, it's a police matter. Correct. But this is a commercial business. Correct. So, no, so, so right. you know, you're... And I just want to explain something. I've, I've only been here for, what, five minutes now? Right. But I just want to explain something... To, to him. Because I know the law. Sir. I'm saying I, I, I haven't even spoken to you yet. No, you're no, already no. getting defensive. No, no, no. I'm, not, I'm just saying. I understand you're having problems with him, with the officer. I, I understand have. you're very frustrated with the entire situation. I would be as well. So I understand. I, I, okay? Well, so just, let me. I would take our tone. Right. And I'm not speaking to you any type well, you're of not, way. You're speaking to me in a tone that I don't know what Let's all take a deep breath. Ten seconds. So. Ten seconds. So we get calls for matters like this all the time, where they are indeed civil matters. However, we're here now. We got a call. So we don't just show up, say it's a civil matter, wash our hands of it, and let you two duke it out, right? That would be improper. That would not be proper police work. So now, even if it is a civil matter, we're going to try to do our absolute best to make sure all the parties are as satisfied as they could be. And just let everybody follow through the proper way. So in order to do that, we have to look at what the documentation is. We have to speak to the parties. We have to see what's getting to the root of the problem. So we go through an investigative process, right? And so that's what this officer is attempting to do is go through an investigative process. Has However, he the process? Has he looked at my documentation? Well, clearly he's still working on it. We're not out of the building, correct? And so so I, we're still here. I'm going to express to you two officers that I do not want that gentleman harassing me again because you're here. They're here because I called the police. Mm -hmm. And I called the police. Harassment against from him and harassment as another tenant here mm -hmm. who chased me down the hall. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm asking you, two officers, 
is that you take those people and you put them in the office so that I can get my computer. That's all. So are they harassing you by reaching out to you multiple you times? Or they were calling a meeting brokered by a building manager. This guy came, he was rude to the building manager, and he left. Then we just asked for his boss to come. He comes standing like a bull and I said, sir, I don't want you to please leave. He refused. So the entire meeting, I had to walk with my back against the wall because this guy just came at me. Mm -hmm. Now, I asked to have Bobby come up and get the computer. They refused. Mm -hmm. Then I said I would go up with Bobby. And this gentleman, who was Bobby's boss, said he would come up. Mm -hmm. And you said you were fine with and that. And I was fine with that. But Mr. Marshall, she's, she's doing that. Oh, can I, can I do that? He just was speaking his piece just okay. real quick. I get that, but I need you to look at this. I don't, you don't need to look at this. Sir. That goes to my attorneys. Yesterday, they were given the emails of any official document to go to my attorney. This Sir. is America. I don't need to look at this. It anything. says right here you must vacate the center office immediately. This was sent to me. And it did not get to me. Go You're being to, told now. Look, look at the office where it is. Go You're to the being office. told now. You're not being told now. Yes. I'm, I'm here. So it's time to go. No. Do you want to get your computer? I accept. Unless. Sir, would you have time to express my side of the story? I did not. I understand it. that, Mr. Marshall. Go to the office, 1978. Bobby, take him to the office and you see where the document is. Go see. Oh, you want to see the picture? This is the office. It, this isn't, it's not real estate. You know what I mean? It's not, uh, it's not like it's a landlord tenant issue. It is the landlord I mean, it, it is. It is. He's, is Mr. Marshall appears to be absolutely correct in that this is a civil matter. And so he, if he needs to get into the office, he's yeah. going to need to contact his lawyer and sue civilly in order to get into the office. Right. You're correct. Well, here's the thing. This is not a police matter. We can't breach the office for you. And I'm not asking you to. I sat downstairs and asked if Bobby can go and get the computer. They refused. Then the office manager said, I know, but remember before, remember a few minutes ago when we were talking, I said, but you don't let we, we want, go ahead. We you want you to get your computer, you know, but we can't sit here and argue all day either. But, what, what you I'm telling you the office, what this is, okay? Sir. This is a place of business, this is a private business. They have informed you that you're not supposed to be here anymore. No, as of two get, days ago. get the contract. They didn't inform me anything. I've not served. That anything. then turns it criminal. My, my you're not supposed to be here. Sean, you've been told. To say you could get you've been told. This, this is where it turns criminal. No, okay? You've no. been given that. Actually, you're here at my request. You're not here at theirs. It doesn't turn criminal. It turns criminal on the two harassment cases that we're going to do once we go downstairs. Sure. All I will gladly talk to you about that, but I'm telling you right now is we can't keep, there, there's no more argument. Okay, so would you like Bobby to go get your computer? I've said that. I would like to go downstairs and go down by myself. I don't need to be escorted by police for this gentleman. Okay. We're that all going to go downstairs together, but not, for right I'm now. I'm not getting in the elevator with anyone. Okay. You're I'm not, going Mr. Marshall, you're not understanding. I'm, I'm, I'm being as patient with you as you can. This guy has been can. preventing me from getting in the elevator. Okay. And that is illegal. That's, that is illegal. Sir, you need to just calm down and relax. Sir, what we're telling you is what you, we can do and what we can't in, do you're for You're coming in after a month of harassment. Yesterday, I don't the, you could. I want you to tell me about that, but for right now, we got to, can we figure out, what, is Bobby going to get your laptop now? I'm going downstairs to sit, and then you yeah. can go yeah, get no, your laptop. Yeah, no, I don't accept. I'm not being. Make this decision. Sir, You're not supposed is, to be here anymore. We're being very, we're, we're being really lenient with you. This is the problem. You're not. That is not valid. That was not served to anyone. You just, you're being told about it right now. Sir, that was supposed to go to a lawyer. It is no different. Okay, can I explain Sir, this to you? Did I read the document? Stop. No, did I read the document? I'm telling you what it says. I don't trust you. I don't know you. Hey, would you like to read it? I do not want to read it. In they, that case, you're... They were informed if, if to send it to my listen. lawyer. And One last time. But can you listen to me, sir, for once? Just listen to me. Go ahead. This is go ahead. Listen last to me. Time. Please, Mr. Marshall. Go what ahead. the only thing that is valid is a contract. They need to show you the rental contract. That is not valid unless it was served and signed for. What's valid is the rental contract. My rental contract says that I have the right to be here to the end of February. Get the contract. That's what you need. Okay. Mr. Marshall. The contract you're speaking of is a civil matter. Yep. And my point you is were absolutely correct when you said it's a civil matter. 
Correct? And that is a civil matter. So if you show up to any place of business, any, you show up to any place of business, you get through the door, it could be somewhere you go all the time. It could be the coffee shop you go to and you get $5 to every day that you might keep them in business. You go to that coffee shop and they say you are not allowed here anymore and you continue to stay. That is a criminal offense. That's exactly what that's I was what, saying. That's but the problem we're having here. See, you need to listen to what happened. I've been trying to leave since before you got here. He has been preventing me to go down to the elevator. He's just doing his job. No. He's security just like Bobby. And okay? I can go down in an elevator and not be a harm to anybody. I don't but trust me. I don't think you're going to be a harm. But he's already been lying, so I'm done with him. Okay. Now, oh, here it is. Here it is. Last I would like to go down. In the elevator by myself and let Bobby go get my computer. And I will wait. Bobby can go get it right now. No, he cannot. Oh, he can't? He can't even go in there. We have the expertise. We are not going to risk any. Well, that's right. He's your, he's your guard. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. he doesn't have a so then he can't do it. Nor do I. Right. That's his job. He can't do it. So, sir. So we I'll can walk you in there and get it. I'll, I'll, go, you don't get I'll it. go with the officer. We'll go this way. And then Let we'll me, I got to check with them to make sure it's okay. This is if one of them, so you need to get the contract before you leave just to cover your butt. No, the matter the matter of the contract, the, the problem that is here, not valid. Correct. So you need to leave with the so contract. validity so validity of a paper as far as a civil matter is concerned, which is a contract, which may be this, it's besides the point. It's completely besides the point for us. What we're trying to do is help you retrieve property, is help you retrieve property. So what we're trying to do is help you retrieve property that you would like back. That's what we're trying to do. And you you want it done in a certain manner. However, we are not able to do it in that particular matter that you would like it. So yeah, we are okay. trying to facilitate you getting your property back. Okay. But okay. If, Can we do this? Right. I would like for you to see all of the property. That's fine. So here's how this, I just talked to them. Okay. One officer, They're willing. Hold she on. can escort me. I'm She's going to. She's going to. But also one of them has to come with no, us. No, sir. And then that's the, then we're at the if, end of the room. If, if Marcia wa Maria wants to come, she can come. Who's Maria? Which the little lady. That's fine. Okay. Perfect. And she's good. So you guys are going to go. It's not, we're not. She knows the drill. She's going to explain this to you. If this is taking too long, she's going to call me. And we're, we, we have 15 minutes total. Okay. 15 minutes, minutes total. Okay. So we're not dismantling Maria? anything. 15 minutes okay. total. Yeah. We're taking what we need to get and we're leaving. Maria. What's Maria? Maria? Can I show you something on the phone? Okay, and actually, could I just request for a down order time list? Only because I don't know which office exactly is here, because yeah. I'm not sure every day. Come on, let's go, Mr. Marshall. I'm going with her, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're going to wait here. All right, I'm after you, man. Sir, I don't know which office it is, so you'll oh, have to leave me. Go ahead, Donna's leaving. Go ahead. Okay. I want you to get your computer. No, I need to show her all the merchandise. So. Okay. She knows the drill, so if she calls. What exactly me. are we retrieving? Computer. Before we even go in there, what are we retrieving? Computer. The computer. That's, that's so well, we need, will I retrieve to, the computer. No, I need to get some other things out of the office. No, sir, that's just your computer. Mr. No, Marshall, not, we will retrieve the computer. I'm, Anything else you can sue civilly for. No, I need to get. And you can take this document and you can bring it to your no, lawyer and you can sue civilly. I need to get something out if of If we're not on the same around. page with this, we're going to have a problem. You're not going to be able to get your computer. What we are here to retrieve today is your computer. I will escort you May I have to the my office. Suits so I can go to work? I have six suits. Whatever you no. can physically grab in five minutes, that's okay. it. So you're down to five minutes now? Sir. She said 15. Fifteen. Are they his suits? I mean, are they his suits? So did the, did, did they pay for them? They're your suits. suits in, that you in my for. office. Okay. Did he pay? Did you didn't Any, pay for the suits? In his office. So can, they're his belongings. So we'll retrieve his belongings. Aside from. He's not from, going to be able to carry it all right no. now, though. It's it's whatever, he can, whatever he can take in the next fifteen no. minutes. How you doing, Matt? Matt? Just, what? What are you doing? I gotcha. Oh, sorry, Mr. Marshall. I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. So who's coming? Who's all coming? Hmm? Just Who's us. coming to? No, yeah, just us. I don't, I don't need to have a bond on Okay, that's fine. I would like to I'm waiting to get to the point. Sir, are you? I, 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 I don't would trust like someone. anybody behind me. Mr. Marshall. Please don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. Uh, no. Because I really would like to help you get your computer back, but you're really making on, this a little no, bit you difficult. Guys are making it difficult. Because we're walking and you won't walk with us? I will walk by myself. You can walk with her. We are we are walking by ourselves. All of us are walking by ourselves. John, you can just stop because I'm getting the hell out of here at five o'clock. Okay, man. This is my, we're trying to be this is my girl. <laughs> I told him She's I'm going home. Lots of Fridays. 
So just so you know, um, when you take the picture, mm -hmm. this, we're going to the office where they claim a document was sent to me. Okay. That's the office we're going to. Okay. He was put on your desk, but it's under all those clothes. Under what clothes? You, after, you, after I put that document on your suit. desk, you put a lot of stuff on top. Again, I, I don't feel comfortable okay. telling you that. Okay, that's fine. Come up front. I'm, I'm not comfortable either, Sean. I'm not comfortable either. And me, and still with them. Okay, I will go back over Thank here then. Thank you so much. That's what we, the, the whole thing was, the, the building manager said, I can come up. And they wanted to follow me with her bulldog. Mm-hmm. Do you have a problem with you? Donna? Excuse me. No, I don't. She can hear you, though. Please do not approach. She has a police officer with her. She'll be just fine. No, just stay there. I do not. Okay, I'm leaving. If she's going to come. Here, I can grab your suit. You want me to grab your suit? I do not want. You can see it when you're gone. Stop harassing me. I just will stay right here. Okay, so. Yes, I'm here. Ma'am, she's right here and I'm with her. If there's any issue, we'll let you know. I promise. So, please now retrieve the document that they're saying it was given to me. Are you asking me to no. do that? I'm asking her to do it. Okay. I put it under here before you went to Burlington. But I can't even, Sean. It's just piled with stuff. Do you know why it's piled with stuff, officer? Because the stuff was placed in the community room. Was it supposed to be there? But look how neat we put this back for well, you. Here's the thing. Was it supposed to be there? Maria and I did a good job, my Maria. You, you did, but here's the problem. You have to now itemize everything that we you, did. We listen, did. Listen, listen. That you physically touched without gloves. We did. That you physically touched. We had gloves until right now. I don't. All right. So you there you go. Those are the items right there. Got it on body cam. All so right. You're saying that every item, no item in here, was touched without a glove. Mr. No. Marshall, we are on the clock, and, and I'd like you to retrieve your belongings. Documents. I'd like you to retrieve your belong. What what was it that you need? Your computer? No. Just retrieve your computer, sir. That's not in this room. That's in a different room. Okay, then I what mean, are we retrieving from this room? Can I get in and get it? Absolutely. I'd just like us to get a move on so that... No, no, no. So... This is how our protocol goes. But, for but you should here. actually get the document that she's saying. I, I do not need to get the document. I, it, this is the document. I'm trying to give you a copy of it. No. But they're saying the document... If you'd like to retrieve it yourself, it you're more than welcome. Okay, well, let's do that. I want you to get oh, whatever problem. Would you like me to hold your phone and record for you? No, I'd like you to record the situation, so we're going to get her done. I am. I'm recording the whole time. All right. So this is $4,000 worth of stuff that we're going to donate it to the homeless for the Restoration Power Ministry. And you say, we're here. Underneath, on your desk. Underneath all of the clothes, she's saying. All of the clothes. And you, know, you know how the clothes got here? You already explained. Did she yes. Tell you? No, there were some. You explained. They were in the community room and down. they had to be moved. Where are the clothes that were in 1911? Sir, 15 They're minutes. They're still in here, Sean. I'd really like us to Can you help be me able to get thing? whatever property that you need. But I'm looking for this document that they claim they served me. You definitely put it on your desk. I think maybe somebody came in to cry after them because... Well, who else was in my office besides you guys? You were because Wait, you came back it? in with all this Can stuff. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> who else besides you and Maria were in my office? Nobody. Was John in my office? No. John never came in Sir, my office? Sir, as I've stated, it most certainly... Ma'am. It most certainly doesn't really matter to me when you d when not, you when you found out that you were not allowed here anymore the, I'm the talking fact to that her and you're trying to interrupt me because i'm trying to move the process along no you're not if you were trying to, to move the process along, you'd be listening to me so right now we're looking for a document that they're saying they left me there's no papers here now for some reason where are all the papers so from? where where is the document are all the papers the ones here have you looked there's a stack of papers here i'm trying to get to a document the death telling me I got. So it was, it was left on the desk? Right, I so you looked on that side. I personally put it on the desk. Look on that side. And look on that side. Did you, the paper did, on you the desk. did you see this? Okay. There's nothing Maybe it's here. in that stack. I but don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know where this is. But my point is I'm not gonna waste your time looking for a document that was supposed to be on the desk that's not on the desk. Okay. Clear? 
Clear. All right. Just Glad we got that done. Yeah. All right. So, these shirts are not on hangers. What shirts? This says t-shirts. Yeah. Are they on hangers? Those were all in boxes on the table, the t-shirts. Oh, this is the underwear. That's correct. Okay, so was all this handled with gloves? With gloves. Thank you. See, she's the rock star. I did it all so neatly because I knew what how is, you what is, what is in here? Those are all, everything that was on the table. Now. Your hand sanitizers. Did anybody your, touch the can the tops of the hand sanitizer? Maria put that all in that box, but she, she had on gloves. gloves. Okay, good. So I'm looking for some tax information. Would you like some cookies? No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I, no, no, Sean. <laughs> so, like I said, we only have so much time. This lovely woman would like to go home. We would all like this issue to be resolved. I would like to, uh, just Marie, what I'm asking in front of the officer, you're going to need to give me the address of where the $150,000 production bill is going to be sent. Because when the production company does a commercial and they book the time, there's no way I can not do it. So now, would you like some? Nothing. Stop giving Mr. stuff. Mr. Marshall, no one would like anything. We'd just like you to retrieve the belongings that you require. I'm, I'm trying to. This is what we need right here. Now, Maria, I mean Donna, can I have the cart? The cart is over there so with the all your shirts in is it there in 1911. Cart? Do you have another cart? No, I only have the one. That's the only cart you have in the whole building? Yeah, I know. Can, can, I wish I had more. Can you're Bobby, using it all up. No, but Bobby gave me one. They have a construction cart. Who? Bobby is the screw over the beer. Oh, yeah. Because if he can get the construction cart, then I can take more than just the computer. He's got the key. You understand that? Yeah. Yes, but my problem is is that we are only allotted 15 minutes for every property retrieval based on our protocol. So I know. My problem is is that we cannot run around trying to find a court your today. My problem is, is that your officer that arrived doesn't know the protocol. That's your problem. Well, we are we're trying to do a proper property retrieval for you, sir. All right. That's all I can say. Okay? I'm hard to tell. Look at me. I have a telephone. Okay, so I don't know. I'm going to get my sermon. Can I get uh, can I get the cart? So I can get more than the cart? So I can get more than just um Unfortunately, I don't think that's possible today, but if you would okay. like to, you're more than welcome to uh, speak to an attorney and try to handle this matter civilly and try to get all of these belongings back. Well, here's the thing. I'm I don't know what their, what their protocol is I've with all of these items. To avoid suing these people. Well, I mean, just I've because been, you I've, just because you got a lawyer involved doesn't mean no, that... No, the problem is this. I have been talking to the corporate. They don't even know that the corporate vice president told them to make the video happen. Mm -hmm. And so, since they don't know that, it's the second time. Okay, that's what you're going to be able to get. I'm going to have to get my computer. Okay, let's go get that now. So let's finish with this room. Lock this up. We're all set here. Would you like to just move just want to your it. suit off of the no, door? No, I'm taking it with me. Okay. I'm just taking a picture. So yep. I know that nobody messes with any of my stuff. Yep. No problem. Is this all I can get, Maria? I can't, I mean, Donna, I can't get my, uh, I can't get my computer. I don't know how you're going to, how are you going to carry it all? I'm going to take the cart. But you Sir, we don't have the cart and we only have 15 minutes. The cart is where the computer is now. Okay. If, if, it's, if, if it's in the room and we can grab it, then we can go in, grab it, and be done. That's what so at the moment we hit the door... I will time it. You will have five minutes. I have not been timing it out of courtesy to you, and I know that we're starting to get close to the time based yeah, on everything. I'm 52. I'm okay. not running for you or Mayor Ellison. Okay. So if you need to do it in five minutes, we'll do it in five minutes, but I'm not running. Thank you. Somebody can get in the car, and let's go to the other office. Sir, if you're retrieving these things, you are required to retrieve oh, these no, things. I need to set it. I'm hmm? going to come back and get it. Get okay. The I was going to say, no, as, long as, as long as we're on the same page with it. I've been trying to tell them 
to let Don do this. Management would like to have a member of the company to be here. She's Don is the one with the best, the best, best relationship with you. She's company. very easy to work with, way. so we send Don. I'm not going out there. This way. Well, I'm going this way to cut through. But I don't want to deal with those people. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay, we're going around. Sean is already out because that's the guy we got to do the police report because he's harassing them. You didn't get it. Sorry. Sorry. So that building manager tried to broker a deal. Now well, because we're trying to finish the property retrieval first, and then we'll move on to hearing your um, harassment complaint. How long have you been on the force? You look familiar. A few years. Did you go up to the... Uh, you did go to the... Um, Tony Campbell used to do the ops meeting in the car? Yes, I was there one time. I was there actually a couple times. That's where I met you. Yep. I also interned in the department, so I was there when I, I was interning I as well. You, I actually think I met you when you were giving an interview. So? It's very possible. So? I'm going to lay all the clothes up here so no, no, you can take the, the car. No, no, keep the clothes keep the clothes because I'm just going to lay the computer on top. Now, can I put my computer in the computer bag? Yep, absolutely. So I'm going to leave this for when... The video team comes back and takes the video. Now, this is called an illegal lockout. Just so you know, Donna. Sir, we so, really don't no, have much time. Donna, I so know, but Donna's it's, not involved in all this. She's really just trying to facilitate. It's not fair to her. He doesn't understand. I'm a peon. She's the ball. Aren't we all? So, the point that I'm take, telling Donna is that nobody should touch this, ever. Because okay. they moved my stuff already. And now... But you went into an office that wasn't yours. That's why. I'm in the office that you let me in. The night you left me and Pastor Brown in, we stayed, and that's what, no, so you opened the office. No. Okay, so let's let's. Where's my keys? So you got your keys. What is it? Are they making you stay here? I was going to say because I would hate for you to. No, she's the one. She, they're, the, they're making her the scapegoat. Donna loves me, don't you? <laughs> Donna, very it. caring woman. I and I love you. Donna. I told them that these people are going to screw it up. And that's exactly what they did. I'm making this so I can put the computer in. Yeah, that's where I met you. Yes, you're absolutely right, because I remember it like it was yesterday now. It was while I was I was all suited up for my interview, and I was in and the... And I was uh, coaching you, right? Mm-hmm, you, you were. You, and I told you, if you wanted help, I got you. Yeah. And you were so proud, you said you didn't need help. <laughs> Ain't that something? And now... I, I made it. I got here somehow, some way, by the grace of God. But it was like your 10th interview. Like no, you, it wasn't. It was you had tried to get into the program several times, right? No. I what had not. You? That was my first time. Yep, that was oh, my first ever interview. There was a couple of other people there. I mean, yeah, there were a couple of people there that had tried multiple times. One guy tried like 15 times in every precinct. I need to take this off for a second. Yep. Okay. 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 Bring in the time clock. Well, I'm in. I'm hot. I'm I know, but to do this as fast as I can. I know, but we can only do so much for you. I apologize, and I really like you to get your things. Did but, she tell you? Know. Did I know her since she was beyond the, before she was on the force? Oh yeah. We met once in passing. Yes, we met uh, while I was doing my interview. And I gave her cool. some. And who coached you? You did. I coached her to get. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something about Donna? Because Donna knows. Small I'm, world. Donna knows I'm a good person. Mm-hmm. And these people don't. And I've tried to been telling them. I've been trying to tell him. So I've got to power this down. Yep, no problem. What is your name, officer? I'm Officer McKernan, Ashley McKernan. And so, Ashley, you've been on the force less than the tall guy. Mm -hmm. you, absolutely, you are correct. And, but you're better than me. I wouldn't say that. Is he unplugging? Mm hmm. Okay. He's moving. So, here's the thing you're the hero. You and Donna are the heroes. 
Because I was supposed to be with Rob, with the mayor, with the building manager. Because I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to go for this, and so the mayor was going to be there. Mm -hmm. But he couldn't get there. And you know what they did? The mayor's office hung up on my secretary. Oh wow! But has, do you think the mayor has asked me if I thought he should be mayor? No, probably not. But, but why then won't he just pay Tony the money he needs? I would agree. But tell Tony that Mr. Marshall said if he doesn't want to be chief, that he can be assistant mayor. He can be my running mate. Mm hmm Are you running? How does this suction? It should just peel from the back. If you want, I can grab no, it. I don't have gloves on now. Yep, there's this little piece right here. I believe if you just lift that. Yep, just like a you command strip. Smart cookie. A command strip. What's that? It's something that you use to hang things on the wall. College students use it pretty often. Okay, so now. That's everything you require for the computer. No, no, no. I got to put this stuff back in and stabilize. And so, yeah, so tell Tony, because when they, my secretary called, it wasn't my intention to run for mayor. Mm -hmm. It was my intention to have some other people run. Mm -hmm. But the woman that I want to run for mayor mm -hmm. is an older retired. She's a yale and she doesn't want to run. Mm -hmm. she, so she said she'll manage my campaign. So, and she said, I need to run. And you know, when your best friend tells you to run, then you, you get your wife's permission, then, then you gotta run, right? You gotta do it. And so here's, Life's too short. So here's the thing. Do you think I make a good man? I think so. But here's the thing. You didn't remember me when you got here. Well, to be fair, I also Sir? saw you without a mask. Just, you, no, you, the la what, back when I was doing my interviews, that was pre-COVID era. Did you tell her? That I, I coached her for her interview. Oh, I love. She's I love. Tell me about it afterwards. Yeah. I love the police, learn. man. I'll have to. She'll tell me about it afterwards. Dude, I, I'm the guy, pa Pastor Brown, who I told you should be mayor. She prays for you guys every morning at five. I believe it. And she's done it at the meeting. God bless. Cause here's the thing, you guys need all the prayers from the Jews, the Muslims. It is so hard to be a cop, man, in this environment. Mm -hmm. Those poor cops in D in D.C. I ran into a, a Marine. What is his name? The officer? Yeah. Officer Cole. Cole. So I ran into a Marine at Abate, right? Okay. And uh, he was like, look, if I... Shit. You might be able to... No, no, he's going to no. scratch the screen. Yeah. He said if he was on duty that day that they stormed the White House, he said it would have been him alone. Would have been from, over. It would have been a different story. <laughs> yeah. And guess what? They should have known that those people were mean and visit. But so if you didn't think that blue lives don't matter, now you know. Because those guy officers got waylaid. Right. And, and if you think that there's no white privilege, how many white people died that day? Not a one. Actually a single one. A Not cop. A, no, it was a, a woman. She was an Air Force veteran, but she was one of the ones storming the Capitol. She got shot in the face. Because she was up. Because she was storming the Capitol. Yeah. Now check this out. This is great. Right, Perfect. No, no. I gotta get the clothes. All right, we got it. They're coming on the cart. Yep. Just, just try and hurry it up. We got Martin. this, and then the cart, and we've got a couple bags down the hallway. We're gonna throw on the cart, and then we're gonna be done. All right, we gotta. Can somebody take the cart there? We're, we're going to help you out, but they got to close soon, okay? So we got to we got to really. Then when we get downstairs, I want you to tell me everything that on your on the harassment. But right now, I really need you to like within five minutes here, speed this up so that they can close, okay? Like I said, if you need to leave a couple things, leave a couple things and contact a lawyer. Yep. And I know that that's not the route you wanted to go, but unfortunately, that may be the route that you have to take. Here's the problem. The lawyer. Which one should I call? I don't know. I actually have one that I think is a very good lawyer. If you'd like, you I can. He's, he's working with one of the victims from an evading that I had. He seems to be very good, very knowledgeable. But, but do you think your lawyer is better than the fraternity brother's firm? 
Sir, you just asked me what lawyer you should call, and I got one lined up if you need one. That's all I was saying. Hey, Joe, um, sir. It's just got wheels? Uh, no, it comes from this. Let him get it from front. We're, we're done, right? This is it, right? We just go. Okay, come on, ready? Just go down, start we'll down the chair. hall, and then we got to go around like the way that we, we came. Because I'm not dealing with this people. Yep. We can go out that way? Well, no, we got to go this way. Is yours? Yes, sir. Don't forget. Got it. Put that on Good. there. Yeah, just hold up a second. We'll be over there in just a minute. Just wrapping it up. It avoids. At least we got most of it. Yeah, if it avoids this, then. Oh, you saw that. We got $5,000 worth of merchandise. I know, but I mean, at least you got you got now, your essentials. You, you got your computer stuff? and. On the bottom, this guy? Which this stuff? stuff? You know the stuff you got. This stuff, we can try no, 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 no. to. No, there's more down the hall. We could try to, we'll I think we could try to stick it on the bottom. Let's do if it. not, Come we'll on. carry a couple things. Let's go. Don't forget your your uh, jacket and your hat. No, no, my hat is here. Take that. Put it on there. Would you like me to place these over here? I'm not wearing gloves. Is that okay? I trust you. I got you. Okay. okay. We're going to wheel this bad boy I'll put this. You. I'll put your jacket right on top. I'll, right I'll, leave this, I'm gonna leave that. I'll leave this with you as well. Be okay, yeah. We'll leave that. All right, there we are. There we go. Let me get this. Okay, grab that and let's let's hit it. Right, then you can carry it up. I'll get your other things. Put this on the Oh, he's down already. He's just right here, right down the hall. Right, we could put that. Mind, just get it. Oh. I'll grab your coat for you. Thank you, sir. Start making our way. Yeah, okay, so I, I, gave, I gave her her pep talk before the interview. Yeah. And you went in and killed it. I did. I did. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that wild? Uh, left. But how? For this guy. I believe. Yes. yes. yes keep left. going. Keep going. Yes, sir. Thank you. Should we call Tony and just so I can tell him what a great just job Just so you did? can tell him. No. This is your phone, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I don't want I'm sure he'd be happy to hear. Huh? I don't want you to lose your phone. No, you're my man. But should we call Tony just so I can get uh, you he's, I think he's on vacation right now. Because he's taking all his vacation because yeah. he, he, he's mm. tired. He's not going to return. No? He's not. Okay. Because I'm going to get him the money. All right. I'm going to get you guys uh, your contract. Go straight. Straight. No, straight. No. At Go some straight. point right down there. here. I don't want to forget your things. He's I don't right remember there. exactly. Right what? This right yeah, here? Oh, that one down there. Just keep going straight. You see those bags down there? I'm getting all tangled up in this office space. This is why I never wanted to work in an office. So we gotta try to pull some of this stuff on the top. It's like there's space, but well, he's chasing me down here. It, oh, okay. it's and it's closed. So I yell it over there. Okay. And then chased me into my office. Okay. I believe you. No. But then he told them that I harassed him. Okay. All right. Here. Where, 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 where do we go with the other? Let's go around straight. Just keep rolling. Yep. Just keep going straight down. I'm this is the way that we came on. in. Yep. Do that. Yes, sir. office is locked. This one right here. Yep, it's locked. I got it. No. Oh. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, no. I that one. No. It is. Put, clip the thing. We'll, we'll take care of that. No, no, no. no. Oh, my stuff is in there. The one that you were in. Driving on. 1911. Just go and click the thing on the door. Thank you. Isn't it funny how everybody changes when they realize you're the boss? Uh huh. Like everything. Made right when you got here. This poor guy. You know what the hell is on the phone, oh, bro. bro. Help your girl, help your officer. Woman down, woman down. Sit down, sit down. Grab it by the phone.
I'm sorry, I'm just trying to keep it from hitting the ground. Oh, it's falling, it's falling, it's falling, it's falling. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to work out. Come across this way. Come across this way. Huh? Right there. Hanging on the middle. On the middle. On this. What? Hang all of them from here? They'll fall this way. No, they won't. That's what I'm worried about. Right here. Yeah, you done. Because they'll drag. That's what I'm saying. They're going to drag on the ground. Hang it on the end. Hang it on the end. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Did the upper guys pass that, that interview because it was free, wasn't it? Uh, no, not everyone did. Ah, uh, she did, though. Steered her the right way. <laughs> this is what we do. I just go through life blocking people. We don't understand. Yep. You see all of these bags? Yep. You know where they're going? They're going to the police department. Okay. Because each of those bags cost 99 cents. Yep. When they buy them from the police, they're going to buy them for $100. Okay. So, yeah. Nice. There's 400 bags in there. That would be nice. You know what? There is a lady in the office. There is a lady in the office that knows how to get the money. Okay. They wouldn't listen to it. As a matter of fact, that chief kicked me out of the police department when I was doing a crime huh? meeting. And the lady says she just doesn't like him run. You all right, man? Yeah. The rookie is getting the workout. It's just That's a it. lot. Yeah, they're getting the work in for him. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Oh, this way? Yes. Yeah, we couldn't go. You we're picked the wrong go. way. You had a 50-50 shot, my man. You chose the wrong one. Well, okay. Not your fault. How are we getting out of here? We'll just keep going. It is a little way. Now, just make sure those people are... I'm just trying not to step on your, your stuff here. Okay. Come on. Come on. Go ahead. Okay, I gotta watch for now. Hopefully you will not have too many further issues. Thank you very much. Yeah. No, don't even don't even talk yeah. about it. Come on, let's go. No, but come on, you gotta go. Come on, let's go. You're a grown man, come on. Then let's go. What's the problem now? You don't want to walk out unless they're in the conference. Sir, come on, we've been extremely accommodating. It's time to go. I'm not walking out in front of the people. They will be in the conference. Sir, they have every Mr. Right Marshall, to be here. please. Let's go. Come on. Let, let's just get, get a move on done. here. Nobody's going to say anything to you. We're you really speak. trying to make this as easy for you as possible. Okay. I left the power cord. It's too late. The, yeah, you got the power cord. I watched you box it up. Is it in here? Yep, it's in yeah, the black container. Good. I watched you box it up. Come on. Absolutely, 1,000%. Look at all this stuff. Bobby can't touch your stuff. Okay. Okay, so you guys got to all right, now, Lorna, come on, let's just go. Let's get this all over the elevator. Cole, can you get this? Because yeah. my legs are short. I keep hitting the freaking... My steps are too small, man. I got to stick my butt out. Like this. Get in the elevator with you. Thank you very much. No just problem. I hope you guys have a great day. Yeah. I got it. I just don't want to screw, but screw it up. Right. Don't worry, he's not getting the elevator. He's just getting it loaded up. Okay. Donna, do me a favor. I just need to know. I need to know where to send the invoice for the TV commercial that was approved by your corporate body. Send it here and I'll send it up to corporate. Should I address it to you or address it to the CEO? Hi guys, sorry for the mess. You good? Thanks guys, have a good day. You can only have three people in the elevator. No problem, I'll wait. Well, you can't go in and buy yourself. I'm coming in with you too, okay? We can only be three, let's go on in. Yeah, so you can go on in with us. Let me go with her. You want to go with her? That's fine. Okay, that's fine. I got her on the force. All right, we'll see you downstairs. Yes, sir. Did she tell you that, Bobby? Just call me. I coached her. Yeah, we'll be fine. That's fine, that's fine. Please, sir. Oh, you're slow, bro. 
I coached her the day she came to the court. I was there. Mm -hmm. was for you? It was, uh, it was the interview. It was the, the initial really? interview. And she, you were the only one to pass? I don't know if I was the only one that passed. I just know there were people there that did not. She killed him. One of them I went to college with, so I knew him, and I he didn't I make it. Drop the paper. All right, girl. Okay. Yeah. Let's answer real quick. Let's talk to her. Pastor Brown. Yes. How you doing? I'm doing well. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just with the police doing my stuff. Check it out. Okay. The young lady, the officer that came and took control of the whole thing, she's about eight feet tall, 250 <laughs> pounds. And guess who coached her to get her through her interview on the force? Who? You know who? I don't know. I'm asking. Mr. Marshall. Okay. And she came and controlled it. She's literally, how tall are you? I am four foot eleven. She's Four, four foot eleven. She she put five feet on her. <laughs> I didn't need the fifth inch. So they kept it. I didn't want it. You can go down, sir. Would you like to go? Down. He's staying here, so he's not coming down. So would you like here? You and I can go. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Sir, are you not coming in? I am. I got you. I got you. You see, you didn't say you didn't trust me, right? I'm glad he did that. Okay. There we go. Congratulations on your promotion. Because he's getting fired. Oh, no. He's getting fired. You know that, right? Um, I had to, he wouldn't let me, I had to lay down. And he still wouldn't let me get out on the elevator by myself. That's illegal. Is it not? You know it. Sounds like a civil matter. No, it's not a civil <laughs> When the cops don't want to get involved, that's their excuse. But it's not. It's part of harassment. Okay. Everybody here, out the way. Where would you like to go? Let's we'll sit right here. Okay. Or you want to sit over there? No, I, I was just wondering, is it okay if we leave your things here? We're just yeah, going to, while we're, while we're having a conversation. All right. I'll move these bags, and then there will be a clear way of passage. Good to go. Everybody sit on there. That's good. I'm going to take your information Thank you. because you want you wanted me to also write about your end, correct? Yeah, yeah. Pass the brown. Before we get to that, I'm just I'm just giving you. A, yes, sir. Would you would you mind just praying for us real quick? With us. The police that you pray over all the time, every day, five yeah, feet I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, God, we thank you for this day. Father. We thank you, God, for your protection and for your love and for your guidance and for your leadership. God, we ask, Father, that you would keep everyone protected and safe as we do our jobs and things that you have given to us. God, let us activate the power, the power that you have given to us, the power of the Holy Spirit to go forward and to be the best us that we can be. I pray for these men and women who not only serve but also protect our community and our home, keep us safe. I pray for Mr. Marshall, God, keep them all safe. Let your will be done in our lives as we do what you have called us to do for such a time as this. We give you glory and honor. Let's get this stuff out the way, bro. Amen. 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 Thanks, Pastor. Right. So, Amen. Okay. That Amen. That was great. All right. Hold, hold on a second. Here's the deal, Mr. Marshall. Hold tight, one second. Hold on. Hold on. Let me explain. Well, I'll, I'll record audio so you don't have to take notes. Let's That's take out your phone. No, you guys do it. Well, we, we, we have the body cam. Before. The body cam's been on the whole Here's time. The That's what we have it All for. Right. I'm going to listen to everything you want to say on your end. I just have to get this out of the way right away. You can't go back there, up to that office. I'm still. All right? Not anywhere in there. Okay? I, this I is the last. Here. No, I can come here. So this is common area. Yes, of course. But that 19th floor, you can't go there. Understood. It's over. If you what? go there, that's instantly criminal. Okay, you get arrested for trespass. I'm just you? giving you that one last. I know to... that's what you perceive. All right, but let me suggest. Okay. So now I just want to get that no, out. No, no, but I want to. So be now you can tell me everything on your end. But I just want to correct you. Okay, go ahead. The correction is. Why don't you guys fill up a chair? No, that's all right. We got it. Perfectly. We're, we're why is he the only one that gets it tonight? I I say He's eight hours a day. I don't need to say. No, I'm okay, sir. Please, I insist. We gotta go. 
Sir, I insist. We're perfectly fine. We gotta go. He's the rebel. He gets. He gets. Um, we gotta go. No, I need you to tell me quickly, like what you want. To do. Here's the thing. Why you gotta sit down? Do you know how embarrassing it is as an African American man? Two days in a row in this building, having cops surrounding him. And so I'm just asking you, everybody, sit down. We, but we can't talk. We we have to go to. We, we already are getting called to go to. The All right. So I'm, I'm, I just want to get your end of it before I leave. You know what I'm saying? Down the chair, huh? I, I, I really don't want to, sir. Okay. It's, uh, it's just a matter of I, I would really like to stand. I, 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 I said too much. So here's what I want to do. Did, did you, some, he needs to go get the contract because that. No, listen to me, sir. The piece of paper that you had, did you see it in the office? Sir, I'm trying. I'm, you want my We want to. We want to talk about the harassment, which is those things that you're talking about know. are civil. Which I explained to you upstairs. Correct. I'm trying to tell him I he is incorrect. Smart, no, no, no. no we want to talk about the, the criminal old. stuff that That's you wanted old. to talk to us about the harassment, people chasing you, people calling. You. We want to hear about that. I'm trying to explain to you. So please tell me, me or else we have to go. You need that because the harassment was that. The office manager, yep. John Cosgrove. John Cosgrove, okay. John Cosgrove, yesterday morning, I came into the office. I know, I know, but come on, we gotta. We just I came into us. the office yesterday morning. Yep. And I only stayed and didn't go back to New Shell because I didn't want any Okay. any misunderstanding. Yep. Because I have authority from their vice president of sales. Her name is Fatima Comey. Okay. I have a letter, an email from her. I know they told me about that upstairs. Yeah. All right. And that email is in response to my question. Three questions. It's a long email. The first says, these people are screwing this up. I have millionaires coming here. I need to get this photo shoot done. Okay. And so, this, my questions were three. One, have my office set up by Monday for the two. Number, and I gave her the emails of the yep. three people that were coming. Tony Cobb, radio personality, 93.5. Londell McMillan, who's probably the most famous African-American lawyer in the country. Okay. And Keith Crankscale. They were coming for a photo shoot. I have to pay these people $20,000, $10,000 a day, whether or not the shoot happens or not. Right. And so, when I came in, I actually spent all night putting together the set. We spent four weeks, I'm telling you all this because it needs to all be in the report. Okay. We spent four weeks doing research on all of these brands that would Mr. invest. Marshall, oh, sir, Mr. Marshall, I'm not got, trying to cut you off. I gotta I mean, finish it. Because you've been, you've been cutting me out all day. I'm saying, he let me finish. He just wants you to get to the pertinent. We okay. need you to tell me what criminally happened. And I'm trying to tell you. All right, you so I need you to. Okay. If you're not going to do that, then we're not, we're not going to stand here and talk about this. Anymore. All right, so here's what I'm saying. When I, since I spent four weeks doing the contact, all day, the day before yesterday, in Burlington, bought $4,000 worth of stuff. Yep. We came, took an hour to unload. There. $150 to get here, an hour, which is all on camera, you can get the video. Yep. We brought it in. They claim that I wasn't able, supposed to be in that office in 1911, and that I should retrieve my stuff. I came specifically to retrieve my stuff, Okay. and the office was locked. Okay. The office is locked. And my stuff is only in there because Friday night, Donna left with us in the office. Okay. So I stayed working with Pastor Brown, who just paid for you. And we stayed and set up for the filming on Monday. Okay. I fall asleep, before I fall asleep, Friday night at 4 in the morning, I email the Vice President of Sales. And I say, this thing has been a terrible misunderstanding. But let's deal with that later. I just need help fast. If you don't get involved, they're going to mess this up. They're going to embarrass me. They're going to lose money from me. Right. 
So I said, ask number one, set up my office for Monday. Yep. Ask number two, you need to write this down. This is the core. Ask number one, set up my office for Monday. Yep. Ask number two, empower Donna to get the sales contract done. Ask number three, okay. listen, 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 listen. Ask number three, I now need 15 offices in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut because I'm on the radio. So, the email that I got back from her says, in short, you can take a picture because the other lady did, it says, Sean, congratulations on your successful growth. What happened is not consistent with our policies and in fact, here's what I'm going to do. Jeff, the Vice President of Sales, will get in contact with you. And first thing he's going to do is ensure that your office is set up for Monday and he will talk to you about the 15 other offices. And I will support you from afar and you will have a great day. I go to sleep, I get up, I go to the radio station. By the time I get to New Rochelle, I'm told in writing from Jeff, he says, I will take advantage of it. My area manager, Martha, yeah. is responsible for all of New England. I will make sure that today there is a meeting invite done and first thing Monday morning, first thing Monday morning, we will be on the phone with you. Okay. Monday morning comes, I'm on the radio up 24 hours, I don't have email from him, I don't have a meeting set up. Okay. I send an email to him saying, did I miss the email? Did I miss the phone call? Because I have all of my three secretaries' yeah. information. Okay. So at that point, I say, I've got to catch this guy before I go to sleep. Because I've been up all night, but there's going to there's gonna be a problem if I don't. Right. So I, I email, I call Donna. And Donna, they got hemmed up in the office because she's playing both sides from the middle. All she wants to do is retire. They have her crying in the office. Jeff never calls me. I get a call from this woman, Martha. And I said, Martha, how are you? She said, I got to get you on this conference call. I said, ma'am, I've been up all night. I'm not getting on a conference call. I'll talk to you. And so she forces me onto a conference call, and these three people that I don't know begin to harass me on the phone. Okay. And then, all right, they tell me, your contract is good until February. So, end of February, your contract is good. The end of February or the beginning of end February? End of February. I'll make, I'll make note of that, okay? okay? And then, okay, so now, I go to sleep, I then follow up with Fatima, tell her what happened, the people have insulted me, and here's what's going to happen. I still have to get the photo shoot done. Thank you for making this work. So, at that point, so that now is last Monday. I then are in meetings. Mr. I come here. I'm we, trying to get to today. So I mean, you, you got to get to it now, or else we're not I'm gonna, trying, sir. They're, they're, yeah, I'm they're trying. busy on the radio. They're, they're, they're trying to get it. Yeah, I get it, but I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, like one more tell minute, all right. All right. Yes. Everything so, that you've talked about thus far has not reached criminality. Yes, it does, that's where because, that's where we're frustrated. But what I'm okay? saying is, but it does. It proves to you that that document, which was never served which you saw was not there, All civil. is not right. All civil. And so there is no reason why I can be prohibited from an office. I have a contract. All right, so that's point number one. So you get that. So now, we buy all this material. We get all the brands. We got phone calls to Biden's people. Mr. All Marsh. These, listen to me, sir. I'm I trying, you, like, I'm like trying to articulate it. And so now, I come here, we set up everything, and we stage the common area because the office that they claim I should not be in is locked. I cannot put anything there for the television shoot, which Fatima has already agreed to now, do. Now is this 9/11 or is this or 1911 or is this the other office? 1911, about, which is not on the contract for you, correct? 1911 is the office that Fatima said would be set up. 1911 and 1922. If I were to look at the contract, what would be on the it contract? It says 19. Be honest. With me. I, you know I'm honest. I know. On the contract, it says 1978. The 
contract that they were trying to get me to sign for $16,000, $6,000 says 1911, 1922. And that, that they were trying to get you to sign, so you haven't signed it yet. So I, that's not the contract. I have not signed so it. So we're running in circles. No, you're, you're, Do you know what I'm saying? But and I'm, it's just, we're but running in circles over I a simple getting, matter yeah, I'm that trying to, we can't. But here's the problem. You if you let me finish go. telling you the story. Really quick, really, so, really quick. Come okay, on. so now this is the room where the common area, common area is set up with four thousand dollars worth of stuff. Right. Meticulous. Right. I could see that. Yep. When I get, and they took it all and put it. No, in. no, no, it didn't happen. So I'm still a customer. I talk, I stay. And I wake up in the office, took an hour nap, and I said, John, I just would like to talk to you. He starts yelling at me. So that's the first harassment. John Cosgrove, the manager, starts yelling at me. And I said, sir, we don't have a problem. Let's not get in the middle. This is your vice president. So now, I then say to John, later on, my lawyer has said, if anybody needs to contact me, that's not you, John, or Donna, that they should email rosyangel2021 at gmail.com and she will decide which of my attorneys that they will go to. That's what you need to speak to about this, But, right? but you're missing the point. Sir, we We're not missing the point. But listen, because you're not getting to I'm the point. I'm trying to get to the here. point. So now I say to we John, I, have, I say to John, I'm leaving. I got to go to New York. He said, wait, wait, but Maria's coming. I said, I didn't know. So I leisurely walk to my office from the boardroom. I walk around. 1978, I get my coat, and I get the person who works for me, Pastor, it's an important name, Pastor um, Darlene Thompson. Okay. She gets her coat, and she's walking me downstairs. We get to the elevator, and John starts screaming, show on, show on. Elevator closed. I don't know what's going on. We then leisurely walk here. We walk all the way over here. We walk here. Get all the way here. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna leave from this end. Right. We're walking all the way over here. We're walking all the way over here. Oh, no. Sir, at what point did John start? Well, they're the witnesses. You gotta get their names. Sir, we have to go. We've 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 accommodated you. We have listened to you. Sir. Sir. None of this is criminal. We're almost done. None of this is criminal. What? Okay. If somebody's chasing you down the hall, John. That's not. That's not what you you're not getting to that point. That's what we're getting frustrated about. The beginning of the conversation, I specifically asked you to cut to that point, and you're not doing it. That's why we're getting frustrated, and we have to. There's other things. It's the city of New Haven. There's a lot of lot of crazy things going on. I understand. And so what I'm trying to tell you, we start walking. So who chased you? That's John Cosgrove starts chasing. Okay, I'm going to mention. He starts. No, but you is somebody going to take a note? I got. I wrote his name down already. So he starts chasing. Okay. We get to here. I'm tired of go. John, John, John! The poor 60 year old lady comes back and brings my coat inside because she's frustrated to see it. So that's the first arrest. Alright? The second arrest. Okay, the second arrest. Sean, whatever his name is. Let's get out of there. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's not say hi to people when we're trying to get you to hurry up because we're just, you're, you're not respecting our time now. So now. Yes, because there's three situations. So the second one, second one, the second one is today. Mr. Sean comes into the manager's office and get Rob. Rob tried to broker a meeting. He tried to broker a meeting. I'll talk to you. 7.30. I'm a little tied up, so it's going to be tomorrow. What's going on, brother? Don't worry. So, come on, we, we gotta go. We don't have any more time for this. You I'm not trying to be rude. But you don't let, let me listen. So, John, Rob, what's his name? What's the boss's name? John, Rob? Rob. He tries to broker a meeting. We go to his office. I'm sitting down. He invites Martha to come down. That was first Donna. And what was the harassment? Because the You're guy in the comes. What's the harassment? Yeah, I'm sitting down. The guy comes in. All rough and gruff, yeah, yeah, and, he, and yeah, I yeah, said, yeah, "Sir, yeah. I don't feel comfortable." Okay, yeah, right, sir, right. He then leaves. Sir. sir, there's something going on okay. in the district. All right, so I'll give you. I'll write the report. So the first harassment was 
Uh, so appreciate. how about, how about Mr. Marshall? Second, let me finish. Let me finish. I'm a little fast. We have to go. The second, you've, been, you've been saying it was going to be fast. The second harassment. We've been here for an hour. As far as I've been here. That's not including how long they've been, been here. here. Right. We've been yeah. here for an hour. And we I've been here twice with long. police in two days. So the second harassment is the guy, um, Sean, harassing me in the office. Yep. Because he left. What's the third one? What's and the third one was that guy, Josiah. You said you're going to get his name and his license. And you have to get his name and his license. Yep. I, oh. I, I'm going to call. I have no, no. You, somebody here is going to get the man's okay. name and license. Okay. So what did he do that was harassment? Okay. Straight to the point. What did he do that was harassment? He yelled at me and chased me into my office. And I said, sir, leave me alone. Okay. And right. what did he we'll yell at you? Just that. your name? He said, Sean. And he starts yelling. Sean, you don't know Sean? And I said, sir, I don't feel comfortable. Okay. Okay. I'll figure that out. No, someone will get that white man's license or we have a problem. Excuse me? Sir. That guy will get embarrassed like I did. Some, one of you three will do it. Mr. And Marshall. Said, no, no, I'm fine. Mr. One of Marshall. you will get that man's license. I will not be embarrassed by the police again. He, his, he will be embarrassed. Mr. Marshall, we no, need I'm, you to I'm relax. Well, sir, if you arrest you me, arrest, arrest me. Me. If you want to arrest me, arrest me. You want to arrest me, arrest me. You know what? I think we're good to go. You no. have all of your things. No. No, no, no. We're not going to get, we're not going to get screamed at. No, no, no. You're screaming at me. Because I'm sitting down screaming. and now the three of you are around me. I'm speaking to you and I'm I'm saying to you, I'm saying You this. are screaming and I have to raise my voice to talk over you. No, no, no. We are not going to keep doing this. We just got all of your belongings. No, this gentleman, that was what you wanted. grab your stuff you and go you're belongings, getting arrested. And that is it. You're if out of we this get building. called Let's because go. you are not leaving, then we will be forced to take criminal action on you. We don't want to do that. So let's, let's finish this tonight. No. This gentleman's going to write let's, a report. Nope, the, this no, this gentleman's going to write a report. The man will have his office. license taken for the report. We will do that, but right now you need to go. Now. What? Brother, what, what now. You, where am I going? You're blocking my way. Where do you, where go. That's go. fine, but you go. need to get let's your go. things now. and start moving on because we can't keep doing this. We now. cannot. Come on. Let's go. We cannot. We've been here for over an hour. We got all your belongings. We did everything that you wanted to do. We're going to write a report on the harassment, and that's going to be it. I security. Security saying you now have to the building. Let's go. Now. I'm getting my stuff. And I'm, go. I'm suggesting. Right now, count to three like you're a kid. Let's go. Sir, count to your kid. You know, I'm not just kid. I'm, I could be your father. We don't want to treat you like a child, sir. Well, we I just want to get you out if of the you building not, that you're not allowed to be in. not follow protocol. The police report needs to be taken, and the man's license will be taken. I told you. If they you have do it. not want my attorney to sue the city, you will follow the protocol and get the man's license. Sir, we have, we have okay. the information. No, you will we the have license. the information. You will not ever get my license when I'm the problem and not get the white man's license. You will get his license. Your stuff. Sir, raise your voice one more time. I will not get us. Okay. Let's be, let's be please, gentlemen please. and ladylike, no, and let's go please. get our items, and please let's leave the building. No, it's war. I'm, you, brother, you ain't one of me. Let's go. He put us out. I'm going to go. And I'm going to get the best life. Like to try to serve Mr. Marshall, you do not have to be here for our investigation. It only exacerbates no, no, the issue. No, 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 we want no, no, you no. to leave no, the building. No, 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 no. They, they tried to get my license yesterday. Hold up, man. What? Hold up. Get off me. Officer, get off me. 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 Get your handcuffs out. Please roll over. Please roll over. Put the handcuffs on him. Please Shut, roll stop, over. Stop, stop. Come on. Stop, stop. I'm not getting arrested. I didn't do anything. Stop. 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 Sir, please. Sir, stop. Please. Just roll over. Are you guys filming? Stop. Sir, please. Are you going to me again? Get me oh. these handcuffs now. Please, please, just stop. Please, it's 
Unnecessary. Stop. Please. Stop hitting me. Stop. I can't breathe. Please. I can't breathe. Please just roll. Please just roll. give him your arm. Please just give him your arm. Please, I'll roll past the ground. Please just give him your arm. I'll roll past the ground, please. Stop. You should all get off. Stop. Sean, you stop. should all get off. We just want you to work. Please, let me You're go. You're going to say yes, please. Please, yeah, let me go. Wait, what do you mean? Sean, don't make it worse, please. Ouch. Stop. I ask you to stop. Let me go. Let me go home. Hold your hand, and I will put you, we will put you in handcuffs, which all stops. Stop. All I'm saying is we don't need stop. to be doing this. Okay. We don't okay. Let me Give go. us your hand. No. Let me go. No. Out! Stop! Out! 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 Stop! Come on, you're gonna get sprayed. Stop! Come on! Ouch! I can't breathe! Come on! Come on! Stop! Come on! I can't breathe! Stop! Come on! You're making it worse. You're making it worse. Come on! 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 Stop! Okay, yeah. Go. All you have to do, stand him up. Get up. Get up. One, two. Wait, wait, wait! I'm gonna get up. Just let me get out. Sure. Let me get out. Oh, I can get up by myself. Stand up. They're trying to help you up. Please just stand up. Okay. Sit there. Let me get up, please. Stand up. 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 Somebody get stuff for my eyes. I'm going to get in the end ah. for you. Ah! Give me some water! Get that quarter water on me, please. Quarter water on my eyes! Quarter water on your eyes! Please! Start, start. Yeah. Lean back. I need you to lean back, okay? Quarter water on my eyes. Quarter water on my eyes. You need to open your eyes. Open your eyes a little bit. Open. Force them. Force them open. Roger. Okay? Relax, relax, relax. Take a breath. You're okay. It hurts, but you're okay. Okay? You're all right. You're fine. You're fine. I'm good. Just take it. Please. Please. I don't know. Please take my, put the water in my eyes. The ambulance is coming. The ambulance is going to come. Water. They have saline wash. More water, please. They have a saline wash. Call the police. Just call the police. Lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Put your head back. Put your head back. Ready? Okay. Okay. Okay, relax. 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 You're okay. We can't do that. We can't do that because the whole reason that we're in this predicament is because you didn't listen to our instructions. No, we're not. Now. Okay. So the answer, the answer is no. Okay. So just take a breath. Give me my phone. Yeah. Give me. Okay. Absolutely. Is it all right that we give your yes. phone to this lady? Yes. Okay. Take pictures. That's all you gotta do. Is this your watch? Yes, yes. that's his. Can I get my phone, I'll please? Go with you. Jaleesha, give me my phone. Yeah. Give me more water in my eyes, please. When AMR gets here, they'll have a saline, saline wash water. and they'll wash it, okay? This is just temporary relief. It's not helping okay. you any, more okay? Put more water. Perfect. Right. The ambulance is coming. Put more water. All right. All right. Relax. Okay. Relax. Okay. There you go. Okay. Give me my phone. Yeah. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. One nine. Give it a phone. One nine. Okay, I'm just gonna look at my phone. No, 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 no. I'll let him just sit there with the phone. phone. Right, just just not look at it. It's a lot. I'll call her. Yeah. Let her just call. control. Let let her call for you, okay? Just I, I think it's best if we just stay right here down. and you just relax. You are sitting down, so just take some deep breaths. I want to sit in a chair, please. I know, but just give it. Once AMR gets here, they're gonna check you out. They're probably gonna put you on a stretcher just to check you out, okay? Why did that happen? Because we asked you to leave and you were not leaving. I That's was a walking criminal that way. offense. Sweetie, you're not you're not that stupid. I was walking. Sir, I'm, I'm genuinely answering your question. When people don't obey I was our walking orders, there. I understand. That was. 
Just all in the That's all. Take the handcuffs off. Now sit down quietly. We cannot do that anymore. We, we're past that point, Mr. Yeah. Marshall, unfortunately. Well, we tried, but you were raising your voice and screaming at us and telling us that you even told us you wanted to be arrested at one point. Let's so. be clear. If you threaten me to be arrested, get arrested. Then uh, we did. Am I, am I under arrest? Yes. Currently. Am I under arrest? Currently, yes, yeah. Okay, so you, can you un un arrest me? No, not right now. Okay. Not at this moment. We have no reason not to. Well, the reason you have is because you beat me. Sir, you were resisting arrest. No, no, no. I was you were under arrest. Somebody, and I was you resisting somebody beat my ass. You were kicking us in the if face. If the man punched me in the face, I will kick him again. We weren't if punching you in the face. He punched me in the face. After you kicked him in the I face. I kicked him because he punched me in the face. Sir. I'm not stupid. I know you too. All I'm saying is, if you punch me, okay. I'm going to kick you. I didn't do anything wrong. The moment the he tried to man. arrest you, yeah, yeah. you tried I wasn't, to fight. No, no. He hit me and I hit him back. And you got me on the ground gotcha. and when he came yeah, at me, man. I kicked him in his face. You guys are so stupid. Okay. How did you do this? You know better. Cerebra. Not Mr. Reba, Mr. Marshall. He's Mr. Reba. Resisted arrest and kicked the police officer. Everything else that happened after that? No, you punch me in the face, I'll kick you dead in your face. You punch me again, I'll kick you dead in the face again. I'm just trying to see where my little piece fell out, but it's gone now. I don't know where the hell it went. What's that? No, my little back ain't for my thing. It's nothing major, it's all right. I was walking to my stuff. And he started hitting me and started attacking somebody to the ground. That dude hit me, I saw him, I kicked him dead in his face. And I'll kick him again if he tries to touch me. So this isn't a restaurant, it's a store and there's nobody in here. I have the people in my pocket. Hold that for your own phone back. He still has eyes on the person. Roger, we're not getting an answer on the call back. You didn't even see him hit. Hey, Bobby, can I get some ice for my face, please? The ambulance is going to help you out with that. You guys are lucky that I don't fight anymore. I gotta whip all of y'all. I don't doubt it, Mr. Marshall. I just wish you didn't feel like fighting us every no, time things go your way. He hit me in the face, Mr. Marshall. Yes, I'm face. sorry. You're more than welcome. And this stupid idiot is all on camera. You dumb dumb. Yeah. Idiot. Anybody else? All you had to do was go get the man's license, which you still have to do by protocol. Sir, we told you we All would, you have to do, but you were no, arguing you did not. with us. You said you were going. I Stop said you did Marshall. not need Sweetheart, to be here for the rest of the investigation, that we had his information, and you we would like you to you leave know, you for the building. And I was going to get my stuff. You could humiliate a black man Sir, by getting his license. Sir, you were screaming at us saying that you refused you need to, to do, leave do until your you saw job. his license. Do your job. Because he was a white man and you wanted to see his license. That's specifically no, what you said. that's not what I said. It I is. said if you can force to get my license and embarrass me, yeah, you can embarrass his ass. And he already committed to getting your license before yeah. we left. Hey, call my phone and call Derek Sells from the Tackle Firm or Trent McCain. No, we're not, we're not going to keep doing this. I'm sorry. It's my phone. You're detained. Phone. We're not going to keep doing that. You want You'll have an opportunity to make whatever phone call you want. Would you like the code? 19. The phone will go with 19, you. 19. Uh, 1933. You guys think you can do anything to people? All you had to do was let me go get my stuff. So. And now you're all fired. Well. You can put it on my slot. It's going to be so Call, call, uh, Chief Grayhead, please. So first call Derek Sell. First call Derek Sell. Jaleesha. 
Sir, please oh, stop. We cannot, we cannot make calls to everybody you'd like to call right now. She can do whatever she wants. She's no. a private citizen. Call Trent McCain. I am not Trent telling McCain you what to do. However, I would appreciate it if you don't if we don't have a, a grouping of, I don't know, whoever coming through the door. We just want to get this done with as quickly and easy as possible. Okay. Um, the only person that I I don't, uh, I appreciate that. I understand why. I would prefer that we don't call any other people. She wants to call, he wants us to call the chief of police. The chief of police oh, no, is going to know I'll, about no, this okay, issue. Okay. I'm just saying, he's, he's listed on a bunch of names and it's just better if we just handle this for now and if he wants to pursue anything after the fact he's more than welcome to do that we have a supervisor on the way we have amr on the way to come check him out so we just want to get all of that done and get the investigation done i'm just asking you i i would prefer it because it makes it less chaotic so less happens when things are less chaotic do you know what i'm saying we don't want to have to call a bunch of officers here because there's a whole bunch of chaos here you know what i'm saying i appreciate it I just want him to be relaxed, no to sit, Thank to breathe, yeah. to get checked out by AMR, and for us to speak to our supervisor, yeah. for him to speak to the supervisor. Because he has the right, you know, I know my right. Absolutely. You know, even when my boss, that's my boss right there. If you have to tell my boss, I have the right to call him whether he's telling me. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And that's why I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just asking you because it would be no, a... No, it's not for nothing, but it's four of you guys and one of him. I, you I, know, you have... Not for nothing, I have all of it on video. Okay. So we, just we like do as well. He lost his camera, he lost his camera, he lost his camera. Have I have it here on camera. Good. Yes, the that officer did punch him in the face when he kicked him. Three, three, so I know. Seven. Those Keep. are, but now, if you guys want to be careful, if you guys really wanted him out the building, you guys have been had opportunities and you guys gave one too many chances. Well, that's, that's the problem is saying. we were trying to I give all chances, to give myself, please, please because exactly. we don't want there to be further issue. But I mean, we've been in the building for probably close to two hours now, and this is for a property retrieval. He's clearly not necessarily in a good state of mind, so we don't want to go hands on because we know the moment we do it's going to be a fight, right? So, and then we have to do what we have. Once we decide to go hands on, we can't. Just just choose not to. We have to control the situation. He already had said multiple times that he was in a place where he was, you know, controlling us, that he was in charge of us. And it's like when you're talking down to people so much, you, you know, at a certain point, it's like, okay, we've been here for two hours. It's the city of New Haven. There's probably clothes holding, there's shooters, there's fights, there's everything else. No one's out there because we're all here doing a property retrieval and, you know, we're doing our best. But at the end of the day, you know, so that that's all. I just don't want, uh, that was all I, I know he's saying to call everybody and I'm just asking you personally if we could just wait until everything's done. That's all. I'm just asking you. You can do whatever you want, but I'm just asking you. I'm looking at the harassment. All my cousins are coming to play with pain right now. Please. Text Derek Sells. Did they go out to meet AMR? Did they think AMR is with us? Yeah. Is AMR coming? They're coming here. Okay. I knew they were out there. They saw the crew. Yeah. I told them it took a long time. Yeah. You see Jared Sales, Alicia? I threw some water on his face because I had a lot of water that they offered to put on his face, so I just threw water on his face. But This is Mr. Marshall right here. Oh, sorry. Sir, why did somebody get both these friends? We're not here to discuss that right now. They're here to help you. This thing's got to be in here. Can you hold my body cam? It is currently running. I can't find the back end for it. And I know it's got to be in here somewhere. It, did it fall when you got here? I mean, it? like, where could it fall? Call and call oh, uh, inside your shirt. Lisa, call, uh, all now it's going inside my shirt. Fire Chief Austin, John Austin, AIS, FDLS. 
Take a picture, text to him. Take a picture, text it to Derek Sell. Take a picture, text it to Trent McKay. Thank you for your We've been here for two hours trying to get Dr. Richie. I'm just trying to get him out of here. And he started raising his voice at him. He's saying this. Office spaces up there, and they were like, "Listen, this is a breach of our policy. You can't be taking all this office space. That's not yours, so you need to leave. You need to get out." And so the past two days, they've been arguing with them. What are the charges? Who is that? Fire Chief Austin. Unfortunately, um, that's not that's not the case. We're not going to speak to him over the phone right now. Call Call Ronnell Higgins. Call Ronnell Higgins. We're turning back. Yeah, so he's, he had a search warrant. He violated it for whatever reason. He was disturbing the rest of the offices. He was told and right on Wednesday. So shows up. We're extremely Okay, just take pictures, text Trent. You can come through. Text Derek Sell and text him the address. Yeah, we have to have something like that. You want us to find out? You're good. I'm sorry. He wants to keep rambling about whatever. We've warned him several times. He's got to go. Well, it's time to go. He's going to get. There's this voice in here. We're looking over the security. Right, right, right. 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 So, officer, am I under arrest? Yes. You and what are the charges? I, what are the charges? You don't have to If there are charges, I am under arrest. If there are no charges, I am free to go. Sir, I just told you you're under arrest. Well, let what you know the what the charges are. I'm, I'm getting up slowly and I'm walking over here and I'm asking you what are the charges. My hands are here. Sir, your shoe. Would you like to put your shoe back on, Mr. Marshall? Yep. The officer's bringing your shoe over so okay, you can put your shoe back on. You're being, you're being arrested for assault with a police officer, interfering with an officer, trespassing, disorderly conduct. Sir. Okay? Who hit who? You guys are all set? All set. One, 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 one. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. One, one, one. Let me sit down in the chair with my stuff. Don't let him, don't let him walk away. I'm trying to sit down so I can put he my shoes on. He just wants to put his shoes so on. No, I need to sit down. I, I, I have okay. handcuffs on. You've been sitting on the floor. Sit down on your I'm not sitting on the floor. Don't let him. Bring him over. Can I put my... Okay, we can absolutely... Let's stand right in the camera. So you guys... Yeah, please please off and take your hands off me. Right. I can sit right there. Okay. Would you What's take your, your hands on? off of me? Put your shoe on. I'm just... Uh, uh, can I put my shoe on, please? Absolutely. I brought it to you. There you go. Good. That's all. Good yeah. to go. Now I need... I need to get my hat and my coat. I'm going to grab it for you, Mr. Marshall. Another pickup bag, one to seven. You are under arrest. arrest. What am I under arrest for? We already told you. No. We're not going to go repeat it again. Okay? I need my mask. Sir, I need to get my mask. We're in COVID. It's on the ground. I don't believe Let you want to put that I back on your face. I want my mask. You want it back on your face? I'm not going to give you a mask. That's on the floor. Those are my belongings. I'm going to get it for you. I told you that. Can I get a hat? My hat is like this. It's cold. You got his hat? I got his hat. 
Yeah. Is that all the people who are back here? That's his stuff. The Indian brother, too, man. All of those are his. Okay. I'll put them all with his things over here. You said Pastor Brown is on the way. You guys, you guys didn't get hurt or anything like that? No. Okay. You guys are all good? Okay. Um, and then that's his stuff down there. You said Pastor Brown was on the way. Um, yeah, that's his because pastor we can't of his take, church. The yeah. pastor of his church name is Jordan Brown. Um, usually when she com when he comes in, he usually comes in with her. So that's how I know. Okay. That Just because maybe they can find a place to put his belongings for the time being, because we're not going to be able to take them. And that's okay. the difficult um, part is now, that's why we were trying to get him a lease. Am I able to uh, uh -huh. her number down on oh, his phone? Because I don't have her number on my phone. Was she on her way here? or was Yeah, she, but I don't know how notified. far she was coming from. I don't know if she was coming yeah, from the church okay. or I don't know if she was coming from home. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we can, I, I'll, uh, I'll talk to him. I'll try to get his phone and try to get the number for you. Uh, you know the passcode to his phone? Uh, I know you unlocked 19, it a couple of times. 1988, 19, 19, <laughs> it's all right. I'll ask him. 1988, 33. Roger Dodge. I'll throw his stuff so. over here, okay? So you said this was his? This is all his? Yes. Yeah. I'm throwing it right over here with his stuff. If you guys don't mind just keeping an eye on his stuff, just to make sure nothing goes missing. Here's his uh, jacket. Yep, yep. Do we have his phone? Yes, right there. Oh. Uh, no. Uh, the jeans? Oh, he's kind of fine. Okay. All right. Uh, and uh, give me the quick rundown again. Uh, yes. So, all about physical. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, so I'm just getting Pastor Brown's number. Let me just crack the window real quick because I just got to ask him something. Mr. Marshall? We have everything for you right now, okay? So just I have a quick question for you. The woman inside would like to call Pastor Brown for you. Do I have permission to open your phone to get her Pastor Brown's number? If you can give me the power, I can't give you the phone. If the answer is no, then the answer is no. I'll let her know that. But you asking for my personal ID, so you can go to my phone. I'm asking if, you, if it's okay for me to go get. Put the thing. I'll put it right there. Put the phone there. No, absolutely. Oh, right, running. That's it. That's so fast. Yes. And then when we get on the ground, be straight up. I I kicked you in the face. That's right. Could you harass me? Okay, do you mind if I just give her the number? I can do it myself. I'm just going to give the girl inside the number. No, I, I'm not allowing you to make a call. I'm making her to... Okay, do you mind if I get that? That's what I'm asking. I'm just getting her number so I can give it. Is it the home number, the 203 number, the, the 500 number? Now, may I have my, my wallet back, please? Right now, you cannot have anything back. It's in our property because you're in our custody. It doesn't matter. You're in our custody because you're arrested. Okay. I just want you to know I'm locking your phone and I'm putting it on the dashboard so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay?
Ma'am, he's insisting I give you his phone, so I'm just going to give that to you, just so it's okay. Call Garrett Sell. Can I go call him? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You have his wallet there? I don't he was insisting that. Pastor Brown yeah. take yeah. his wallet as well. She wants that? Okay. So you want her to have the wallet? Is it okay? Is it okay? Can I get have the wallet? You can give the officer your address. That's fine. I like it. Did you get a little information? Can I take all of your stuff? What about you? are going to take the ID, okay, Pastor? No, you're not going to take the ID. We're going to take the ID. It's going to go with you. It's going to go with you. We need your ID. That is not my address. I live at her address. Wow. He does He's very right. difficult to deal with. Clearly, you can see that. He, we need his ID. No, you don't need my ID. That is my property, so and you don't have, have permission. For the booking officer, okay? You do not have permission to take my license. Well, because well, that is not my address. We have to take his license, okay? So we know who he is. They took my license out of my... Where's your license? Where's your license? It's in the wallet. It's in the wallet. Where's your license? Where's your license? Where's your license? Because that's my property. He's going to get it back. Okay. 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 My first week was hell on wheels. Yeah? Oh, yeah. It was in the middle of the summer. I have so much stuff. Absolutely. For one second, so I can put my mask on. Absolutely. Yeah, you want to? You good? Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, my coat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take all of that. I'm taking all of that. You sure you don't want your coat? Okay, he wants his coat. No, I'm yeah. saying so. Yeah. It is Yeah, coat. I mean, I would say the coat should probably go with him. I only crack the window so I can speak with him. If I roll it up, it'll be warmer. Yeah, just hang on to it for now. I keep my license and my I do not. Do you want me to look it up? No. They don't even know the code. They got the address. They don't even know the code. Yeah. I'm going to keep this paper. You take this pair. I this take pair. this? Yep. Okay. This pad, this pen. Yes. Got it. Oh, is this ours? Is that ours? Okay, got it. There you go. I'm trying to track. I need a jet. And I need my... Does he want his coat with him? Yeah. yeah I would send his coat with him. That'll work. Just I mean, go in the back. Then. You can leave it on the car. Yeah. Yeah, because what we do is we put it in the back of the wagon. Uh, yeah, let me get them all. We have them in the front. Wait, store in the back? 
So I know you huh? got What we do is we'll throw it right over here. That's his jacket. No, it isn't, uh, if you want to switch him to the back. Can I just see your friend? Okay. okay. Is he cooperative? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call him cooperative, but he also isn't actively fighting. He's like 52 years old, so he's like a, he's like a well-to-do 50-year-old guy. His license has to go with him, that's part He had to get sprayed. Yeah. But, I mean, that was because he didn't want to be arrested. And he still is convinced that he's not arrested. I just, I can't the point. I don't know you're the not, he's there trying to get you guys to write it up, and I'm you're not, in trouble. No, no, they no, no, write it up. I'm not the arresting officer. I'm trying I'm to tell you. Where am I going? Right there. Right there. Can I put my, I gotta put my coat on. I don't, we have your coat, you gotta step out first. Oh, Jesus. Hey, can you take a picture? This way. This way. This way. This way. Mr. Marshall, this way. Thank you. There you go. This way, right here. I can walk. Sir, just walk. Please, you stop arguing. Brother, I can walk. Come on. This is protocol. Come take him up. Do you want to fight him? No, I can get in the car by myself. Okay, then walk. Brother, let me go. I can get, I'm a grown man. Go ahead. Sir. Thank you. Come on. This is serious? Sean Marshall, founder of Restoration Power Ministries, and they're right. harassing me. Let's Come go. On. It's time to go. Get him up in the way. Say yo. Please Watch your head. Get All in the Watch your head. Please Watch your head. Get Watch your head. In the All the brothers cap outside. Stand up. Brother, I can get in the car. Let, 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 let me scoot in. Let me scoot in. Is there any way you can help the situation? He needs to go to the hospital. He's bipolar. Yeah. He needs to go. All the noobs! All the noobs! Sit up on the bench. You want to tell him? Sit on the bench. Sit on the bench. You want to tell he needs to. He didn't get the officer this much time. He didn't do this much. But he was. Well, you know what the finished. problem is? Is that he's not getting what he wants. And he's getting frustrated because he's not getting what he wants. And he thinks that we work for him. And then that's the problem, isn't it? We don't. We work for the city of New Haven. He has a ton of belongings inside, okay. uh, yeah. and I don't know what to do with them because we can't take them. Okay. And if you'd like, I can show downstairs? you. Okay. If you'd like, I can show you so you can. I'm gonna say I'll tell them. Okay. You. Okay. All thank you. Frank Dixon. Okay. All Frank Dixon. All right. Okay. How does it lock? That's new one. Just push down. Right it's a new one. Right, look at Fancy. That. Look at this. Lost that word. Cool. Is that opening? No, no, wait, wait. I don't know if what? you heard, but the pastor just looked at me and she said, he's bipolar. Yeah, she told yeah. me that. So, no, yeah. that makes, his emotions were like this. So well, whole time, up and down. Up whole time. and down. Now it all makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I could have told you that. But just so you document it. What's that?